we're going to be looking at quadratics and quadratic functions and in specific we're going to be working on finding the value of x when we are given the value of y okay so in looking at this first question find any values of x for our quadratic y is equal to x squared plus x if my value of y is equal to 2 okay so if y is equal to 2 then let's put uh, 2 in place of this y okay so if I rewrite it I have x squared plus x is equal to 2 okay from there I want to find the values of x okay so to start us off what I want to do is I want to move 2 to the other side so we get x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0 okay from there what I want to do is I want to factorize okay so how to factorize quadratics uh, we're gonna have a look at the factors of negative 2 okay so two numbers that multiply are uh, the product of two numbers that give us negative 2 but they add to give us 1 okay so this is how we factorize if you're not quite sure how to factorize these quadratics please refer to another video that shows you how to factorize quadratics Okay, so once we factorize it, we can see, okay, x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, that means this bracket must be equal to 0 or this bracket must be equal to 0. Okay, so my answers are going to be x is equal to 1 or x is equal to negative 2. Okay, so that's how we find the value of x uh, given that we're given y is equal to 2. Now, if we take a look at the next one, so find the values of x okay find any values of values of x for our quadratic equation y equals to x squared minus 6x plus 10 if y is equal to 1 okay so y is equal to 1 in this case okay then for y let's just put 1 there so I'm going to rewrite my quadratic and it equals to y which equals to 1 okay and from here we're going to try and solve it again find what the value of x is okay so again I want to move it to the other side so I can get the whole thing to equal to zero okay from here I want to factorize okay so how do we factorize x squared minus 6x plus 9 this in fact is going to be a perfect square okay so we get x minus 3 all squared so x minus 3 all squared equals to zero then the value of x is going to equal to 3 okay so when y is equal to 1 x is equal to 3 Now find val any values of x for uh, this quadratic, we have y is equal to 3x squared and the value of y that we have is 12 in this case. Okay, so let's rewrite this equation and put y is equal to 12. Okay, so instead of y we're putting 12. Okay, so let's find or solve for x in there. Now what are we going to do first? I want to divide both sides by 3. So we get x squared equals to 4, then let's square root both sides. Okay, now be careful when we square root, we have to do plus minus. Okay, and the square root of 4 is going to be 2. Okay, so the values of x is plus minus 2, when y is equal to 12. Okay, so not too difficult. Okay, so we're looking at this quadratic again. Okay, so this equation. Okay, so find the values of x when y is equal to 1. So put y is equal to 1. We have x squared plus 2x equals to 1. Okay, again, we want to make it equal to 0. So move to the other side and we want to factorize this okay now if you look at it uh, if you try it we're not going to be able to factorize this so what I want to do is I want to put it in my quadratic formula okay now it looks very long and nasty but this is the only way we can do it okay and it's not too difficult okay so hopefully we know how to use our quadratic formula already okay um, so let's simplify the inside okay so if you simplify under the root we have root 8 and at the bottom, 2 times 1 is just 2. Okay, now we want to simplify a little bit further. Now, this root 8, we can simplify that down to 2 root 2. Okay, because square root 8 is the same thing as square root 4 multiplied by square root 2. Okay, and that square root 4 can become the 2. From here, we can divide everything by 2. Okay, so cancel all your 2s, then the value of x is going to be, looks a little bit messy, but the value of x is negative 1 plus minus root 2. Okay, so that's the value of x when y is equal to 1. Now question 5, okay, so again we're going to find x, now y is equal to 1, and this is our quadratic. Okay, so let's put y is equal to, uh, y is equal to 1 here. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 1. Now let's move the 1 to the other side, 
to make it all equal to zero. And let's see if we can factorize it. I want you to try, but if you try, we'll see that we can't factorize this nice and easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna use the quadratic formula. Okay, now in this case, if we simplify what's under the root, we can see we have, okay, if we simplify it, we have a negative four under the root. Okay, and if you know, we can't have a negative number under my square root. Okay, meaning there is going to be no solutions for x. Okay, meaning x has no real values for when y is equal to one. Okay, and that's the answer there.